What's up, Muscle and Strength? Chris Bumstead here. Just wrapped up a workout and we've got a long drive home. So luckily we have a Tim Hortons across the street. We're gonna get head over there, check out the menu, see if we can get something relatively clean, high in protein for a good post-workout meal. Tim Hortons is like our staple coffee, donut, quick kind of morning breakfast sandwich type place, which developed into more. They actually have really good bakery. The donuts are amazing. The muffins are really good. And it's kind of like, it's on every corner, everywhere. If you were to combine Dunkin' and Starbucks, that's how many Tim Hortons we probably have in Canada. It's not as bad as Dunkin'. And it's probably like a tiny little level below Starbucks in like quality and less expensive. So it's just like a perfect combo of everything. Luckily, one store did the all-day breakfast and now everywhere had to do all-day breakfast. So we got that option up there all the time. Top left is all pastries. We got some wraps, a lot of sandwiches and stuff like that. You're gonna try and avoid bagels and croissant buns because they're like high in fat and in carb, a little high in calories. I typically like aiming for like a wrap or something. The donuts here are amazing, but I'm gonna avoid that for now. We're just gonna try and get a higher protein, a little less fat and carb. So. I think I'm gonna go with a wrap and maybe combine like a breakfast sandwich within it. So they have multiple options for the wraps. There's like a grilled chicken, a crispy chicken, and a steak option kind of. So I'm gonna go with chicken right now because they're probably a little higher fat in it regardless. So we're gonna go with a leaner meat. And of course, breaded, deep fried, it's just not quite as good for you. So we're aiming for that grilled chicken. Hi, could I get a grilled buffalo chicken wrap with no cheese? Uh, let me double check my grill. Okay, can I get? Do you have steak wraps? Sorry. Do you have steak wraps? The steak wrap? No, no, no. We don't carry the steak wraps. Oh, you only have. We only carry crispy chicken. The chicken. All right, then. Could I get a uh, a farmer's wrap with no cheese? Uh, sausage or bacon? Uh, yes, please. Which one? The farmer's wrap. Sausage or bacon? Oh, sausage, please. Okay, cheese. Can I also get another breakfast wrap, but can I just get the egg in it, nothing else? Wow, we just got beat up right now in the drive-thru. They were sold out of the crispy chicken, and this location does not hold steak. So on the fly, we had to think quick, what else do they have? The other protein source they had was breakfast, obviously. So it was a wrap again, because we're kind of avoiding the high, dense, like thick buns. So got an egg wrap. One of them I kept the sausage on, but we got no cheese on it. The cheese here is so processed, it's never good for you in fast food. Not that anything's not processed, but the cheese is really bad. And then I got a second wrap with no sausage or bacon or anything, just egg in the wrap, nothing else. So kind of getting in the protein from the eggs there and adapting with the menu and the poor option choice that this Tim Hortons has. I know I'm being that guy. This is like when you go to a restaurant with a bikini girl and they, like, can I get the, the fajita bowl, but can I get no fajita and just chicken and just salad and no sauce, not grilled with any oils? And they're just like, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. All right, let's see what we got here. Both wraps done up in here. You never really know in these fast food places when you give them kind of a weird order, changing the menu. Sometimes they're just like, fuck this guy. I don't want to kind of make this guy's custom wrap. But no, it looks good. There's just egg in that one. So this, this one's literally just an egg wrap. The other one does have sausage in it for a little protein. Normally I wouldn't go with that, but because they didn't have any of the crispy chicken, you know, it's just kind of one of those things you got to adapt, which is the whole reason why we're here is adapting. It's like sometimes you have a long ride and you like you're missing a meal or something's going on that just like you're forced to not have the food that you normally have and kind of throw you off routine. And it's really not the end of the world. The goal is to be consistent as much as possible, but not stress about it when you're not. Because a couple of things like this and doing a little variations like avoiding obviously the high carb, too high fat, getting something like a wrap getting grilled chicken instead of crispy chicken. There's always a variations to make it as optimal as you can, even if it's not perfect. So just kind of find the balance that you can in hard situations and don't stress about it because shit happens and you're not always on point. All right, we're gonna give this one a shot. Sadly, this Tim Hortons isn't really doing justice for 
my Canadian love for it, but you know, we're gonna dive in and see how they did. Actually tastes really good, so. It's a little bit of a win there. Not quite as clean as I wanted, not super dirty, but it tastes good. So we're coasting in the middle, no complaints. All right, so if you are stuck in like a sticky situation and you are eating out, there's some wet things that you can look out for. Personally, I always like focus on like, a lot of things will have extra carbs added into it, like a sandwich with like crispy, like a hash brown on it or something in breakfast, which you can cut out. A dirty pork sausage, sometimes you can cut out or at least have one instead of two. I always take cheese off, maybe put dressing on the side or try and find like different types of dressing. Sometimes I'll have a honey mustard, which is typically less calories than like a chipotle, which is kind of berry based, dairy based and a bit more fat. So the little things to kind of look out for, use your, use your knowledge, use kind of like your own intuition of what you understand is healthy and try and pick it apart and see what the menu, what the restaurant, how they'll work with you. All right guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys learned something. And if you liked it, please subscribe below.